What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Journey to Wealth. I'm James. Doing a little bit of business today. Doing some errands. Hitting a thrift store. Maybe two or three. I haven't decided yet. Uh, grab some inventory. Got to go back and pack some stuff at the storage unit. And then uh, drop them off at the post office. Short day today. It's Friday. I don't really want to be working. But, uh, you know, you don't make money if you don't work. So, that's not always true. Not always true. But, anyway... I'm going to head over to the Goodwill and see if we can find anything great. And uh, then we're going to head over to the storage unit after that. So come along. Come on. Come for the ride. So we came over to the Goodwill. Probably going to have to do a voiceover here because every time I'm in this Goodwill, and actually a few of the Goodwills, they turn their music up so loud that my YouTube videos get smacked with copyright. But uh, I'm going to see if we can find some stuff. So check it out. Here we go. Okay, like I said, the YouTube copyright system likes to uh, take my videos down when I have Goodwill music playing in the background. So I walked in, I found a couple of these uh, wooden trains and wooden cranes and stuff like that from Lowe's and Home Depot. This bag was $1.49 for four of them, but the rest of them were priced at $2.49. So I went ahead and grabbed just the one bag just to see how they do. Looks like they sell for about $9.99 each. These uh, Sorel boots here I walked up into and they were pretty good condition, good tread on the bottom, good sizing. Looked like they sell for about 50 bucks. It was $12.79 but I do have a 20% off coupon for my total order so I'll be able to get the numbers down on that a little bit. Uh, these shoes right here were just absolute insanity. Somebody in the back thought they were worth $60. Uh, obviously passed on those and then I came across these Merrill boots Merrill boots generally do pretty well for me they were only six dollars and seventy nine cents minus the twenty percent so I snagged them looks like I can get anywhere between fifty and a hundred dollars for them uh, but I may actually end up keeping them for myself because I do like them I browsed around I found a couple more pairs some Nikes uh, these should be good for about twenty five thirty dollars in my pocket uh, for six bucks I'll take that any day of the week these ones were priced just a little bit too high. Some Keens and they had some bad wear on the heel. They wanted $12.79 for them, plus the heel was really worn, so I chose not to pick those up. Every now and again I pick up a uh, brace or something like that because they do pretty well for me if they're a specific brand. Uh, some brands are much better than others. This one turned out to be not worth it, so I moved on. Went over to the electronics section and picked up some guitars. Looked at the Guitar Hero guitars. I don't generally buy these, uh, but these ones seemed promising, so I went ahead and I took a swing on a couple of them. Then I found a piano computer and I couldn't argue with the comps on it, so I had to pick it up. I stumbled onto a Maple skateboard. Maple used to be a big name back when I was a, a younger version of myself, uh, but I decided to pass on it because it was pretty worn, had some water damage on the top side, so I continued looking for the power adapter for the piano computer. I always check the coffee mugs because uh, mug life. Every now and again you'll find a good Starbucks mug. This one wasn't that great. It was only comped out at about like 18 bucks, and they wanted $2.50 for it, so I moved on. Same with the Ray-Ban case. I was mostly looking at this for me because I have a set of Ray-Bans and uh, they don't have a case. So I thought about getting it, but for $2.50, I was just not really feeling it. So I put it back. Then I found this great pair of lamps. They were antiques, probably late 60s or so. The best comp I could find on them was about $225, but I just didn't want to deal with the headache, so I went ahead and I passed on those as well. All right, so we just got done at Goodwill. Got a bunch of stuff. Got a couple pairs of shoes, a couple... Guitar Hero things, some belts, other stuff. This is probably the winner of the day. It's a, it's a piano computer basically for like an older piano. And the only one that I found sold for, for best offer off of $400. And it's, this one didn't have a power adapter, but I did find another power adapter. I plugged it in and it does work. So hopefully I can just source a power adapter and sell the whole thing completed and we'd be good. Um, other than that, you might be asking yourself, where are you gonna put anything? I didn't, I didn't really think about that. See, I bought an overstock on some mowing stuff the other day and, and forgot that it was still in the old uh, truck. So we're gonna try and jam pack this thing with items and uh, then probably head to the storage unit. Yeah, I'm a horrible liar. I actually ended up going over to the Sabres and a Goodwill that is right next to each other. And I probably should have gone to the storage unit because there really wasn't anything, so to speak, in either of these. I did find a San Francisco 49ers jacket, but they wanted $60 for it, and I just wasn't having that. Um, 
so I went over to Goodwill. I took a look through some of their stuff. There was some decent looking stuff, but you know, honestly, I just have a ton of inventory. And so I kind of passed on a lot of stuff, especially large items. The air hockey table was something that I was actually half considering getting just for funsies. There wasn't anything in the golf section. Um, I do buy golf clubs whenever I can find a chance to find something that's worth selling, but there wasn't anything except for old clubs there that day. Most of the other stuff in the store was broken or damaged in some sense. This thing had a big old crack in the back of it, so I passed on that as well. I stumbled across this old Louisville Slugger, and I picked it up thinking it, I may have come across something good, but uh, it was actually cracked in the back. So there's a crack running up and down where my thumb is. So I passed on that. As I was putting it back, I found this putter that I thought actually was an Odyssey putter, but it turned out to be some other brand that I didn't know. And it was pretty beat up, so I went ahead and I put that back as well. All right, for real this time I'm done. I hit up a, a Savers and a Goodwill just because I'm addicted and that's how I roll. That's which is what I do. So I gotta go back to the storage unit real quick, pack up two items. I sold two items while I was out today and hopefully make it back to the post office in time because it's 4.30 on a Friday and I don't know if I'm gonna make it uh, to drop off or not. So. Worst case scenario, I'll take them to the UPS store and they'll get picked up in the morning. But, headed over to the storage unit, get some stuff done. I need to do my breaks this weekend too. Um, yeah. This is this is the life of a reseller. This is, what, this is what I do. This is what happens on a daily basis. All right, so we just got to the unit. We're unloading a bunch of crap. Lots of stuff from today and yesterday. <laughs> not drop at all. <laughs> it's not going to process all this crap and ship out two items, but I'll probably really just load these things in and uh, let them sit there until I come back. I generally work at night from here, and uh, so I'll probably just load them into the storage unit, one of them, this one, or one of these two, and uh, I have too much crap, and uh, come back and, and do some work on it a little bit later. Check this cupcake out, though. Ooh, it's fancy. It's a uh, Simon Designs crystal cupcake. I got it for $1.99 at the uh, Savers. And I think it's worth about 25 bucks. So, cool. All right, so we just got back to the storage unit. Um, did a little bit of thrifting today. Got some good stuff. I have to put away a lot of items. And um, I couldn't, like, walk you through the shipping thing but uh, because I was using my phone to do it. But let me just kind of give you a rundown of what was going on. So I had to pull these two items right here. Um, one was a golf club, one was a bat. Out of my extra large bin, everything that I sell is already boxed up, so everything, it's already packed. For shipping, I just have to print the label and, and stick it on there. So, I have this beautiful Brother Wireless printer, link in the bio, or link in the description. I love that thing, if you can even find one. Um, but it's wireless, so I can hook it up to my phone, print my label, uh, stick everything, do everything here at the storage unit, be done. I just use, uh, don't tell my storage unit, but... I use <laughs> an extension cord to plug in here. Um, I also have a little portable power bank that I that I can use if I absolutely need to. I just kind of try not to. Um, so now, anyway, now that I've gotten these things packed, let's turn the addresses around really quick so that creepers on the internet don't see them. I gotta put all of this stuff away. Um, these are some things that I came across. These Moen, um, their bathroom and kitchen, you know, like accessories just so toilet paper holders uh towel racks that kind of stuff but i got them for really cheap they were asking six bucks a piece for these things um but they're actually a lot of them are like in the 30 or 40 dollar range and so i bought them all and they gave me a little bit of a discount for buying everything so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna i'm gonna de-sticker those stick them away i'm gonna get some work done around here time lapse mode engaged in like t minus three two one uh let's get some work done and then we'll get out of here Alright, so I know that was super exciting stuff, but check it out. This is some of the stuff that I was using, and I only tell you about it. I actually made a video of all the cool like, Amazon products. I'll link to that in the uh, little eye or whatever it is up in the sky. Um, that whole thing, that whole process, doing um, 
46 boxes, uh, one, two, three, four pairs of shoes, three guitars, a couple odds and ends. Call it, call it 55, 60 items, something like that. It took me all of 15 minutes. Um, and the reason why is because of this. Scotty peelers. These little pump things that I fill with alcohol. And then if you were paying attention, um, you saw me leave some stuff on the Guitar Hero guitars. The Guitar Hero guitars were actually double stickered. Um, and when I peeled the first sticker off, it left a whole bunch of residue left. Uh, there was like paper and stuff like that. So what I do is I take one of these things. I get them at Dollar Tree for a buck. Um, and I just saturate them with alcohol. Only do this on things that, that are like color safe or alcohol safe or whatever. So I saturate one of these with alcohol. I leave it on there and I just let it sit and soak while I'm doing other stuff. And then at the end, I come back and I scrape off all the residue and wipe it all clean. It comes off like a charm. It's super, super easy, super quick. And it's sitting there like doing its thing while uh, while you're doing some other stuff. The only stuff that I didn't de-sticker are some of these knives, these old vintage Gerber knives that I got for two bucks, uh, $2.99 actually, sorry. And the reason is because Savers tapes their knives. I hate it. So you have to sit there and go like this and pick and try not to cut yourself and all kinds of other fun stuff. They're kind of a pain in the ass, um, but I actually bought these for me. So I might sell them. I haven't decided, but I bought them with the intention of of liking them for me and if i turn out to not like them i can sell them in the future i do that quite a bit where i find something that i like and then if it's worth it to like if i would buy it to sell it i'll buy it and use it for me until i'm done using it and then i sell it so that i never really like cost myself any money uh, to to have the things that i use i mean not never i guess but that's i try and do that as much as i pop as much as i can but i mean it doesn't really take that long to get the uh, tape off these knives but when you have like 15 or 20 of them to do I like to buy knives because knives turn out pretty good for me and I have a little system for selling them and it works pretty good so that's what I do anyway um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here as soon as I'm done doing these three knives and we're gonna head to the post office or actually probably the UPS store because we missed the five o'clock drop at the uh, post office but I want to get these things in the mail today um, so that at least at the very least they get out in the morning tomorrow but Real quick, before I go, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I've been doing sit-down videos at the desk and kind of, um, I don't know, for lack of a better term, educational videos. But you guys don't seem to like them that much. So, would you prefer that I did like day-in-the-life type stuff like what I'm doing today where I just take you on thrift stores with me, show you what I sold, show you what I did, that kind of stuff? Or do you like when I actually put together a video and do a video sitting down at the uh, at the at the desk? Let me know in the comments section below because I'd like to make videos that you guys like, obviously, um, while also making videos that I like. This is about the dullest knife I've ever had. Um, that will get sharpened. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, just something that I've been kind of thinking about. <sighs> anyway, as soon as I'm done with this, head off to the post office. All right, so. One of the reasons why I like to take the stickers off, like as soon as I get the item, like back to my storage unit. Well, two, two reasons actually. One, that way I don't forget to do it. Back in my, back in my early days, I had quite a few times where I actually just shipped an item out with a price tag still on it. And uh, you know, people don't really appreciate seeing that you bought it for $5 and they bought it for 50. So I like to take them off as soon as they get back to the unit, just because um, it's one less thing for me to do. Two, stickers tend to come off easier. The A lot of the stuff that I'm buying is like brand new on the shelves because I hit the thrift store so often that it's like I'm mostly just getting the newest items. So the sticker has only been on, the, on whatever it is for maybe, I don't know, a day at the most. And so the sticker tends to come off a little bit easier. And that way it's like I just get it back to the unit take it off it's done I don't have to worry about it again uh, and it takes me all 15 minutes to do a bunch of items I mean I really got it kind of down to a system and that's another thing I was talking about is batching this way I don't have to take the stickers off when I'm like cleaning and touching up and packing the items it's already done and then the next step for me is to just pack the items in into whatever package they're going into uh, not fully pack them for shipping, but just so I know the box size, the weight, all of the dunnage that's in there and what I'm going to be shipping. I know all of the 
the intricacies of the package so that when I'm listing, I can put that stuff in there. But I don't have to worry about cleaning everything off and putting the stickers in there. It slows everything down. If it, all the stickers are already off and pretty much everything's wiped down and clean enough, I can just find boxes and go. And then when I list, I take pictures and I go. And so everything's batched and done together and it speeds everything up a ton uh, during the whole listing process. Because I really, I kind of do the listing process in like five steps. Anyway, headed over to the uh, UPS store because I missed the post office today. It's a little bit late. Um, so we're going to drop it off so I can get in the, in the mail tomorrow on the pickup for the UPS store. And uh, I don't have to worry about these packages going out a little bit late. I'm trying to get things to people as quickly as possible. I have two-day handling on all of my items. Um, but most of the time, like I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, it's, it's same-day handling because I just get it done. I either leave it at the front desk uh, in my storage facility or I, which although they just changed owners and they're not letting me do it right now. So I am having to bring them to the post office or schedule pickup and bring them to my house or whatever, which is kind of a pain. We're working through it. We're working through it. Uh, with any luck, I'll have a warehouse in the next like, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit. So I won't have to worry about it anymore. And yeah, so that's like a typical day. Hit thrift stores, ship packages, clean anything that I got and then I'll come back later tonight and list things once it's nighttime and and everything's kind of settled down I like to list at nighttime when it can be quiet I can jam out to my music nobody's coming in and out of the storage facility doing anything like that bothering me um, and then I can just get stuff done hammer it out do the actual listings from my house in the morning and uh, be done so anyway I hope you liked the video if you would please like favorite comment subscribe to the YouTube thing Helps me with the algorithm. You know how that goes, the algorithm. Uh, at the very least, just hit the like button if you liked it. If you got some value out of it, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.